Last press conference, you stated that you wanted the same energy that you saw two years ago from Carolina. Did you see that energy today against Kentucky? Uh, I saw glimpses of it for sure. Definitely in the second half, uh, closing out the last 10 minutes. I think, uh, like Armando said, we didn't have a good like two halves. We haven't strung two halves together. Uh, and I think the first half, we still came out slow, even though I think we had more energy in the first half. And uh, coming back uh, from that double-digit deficit uh, showed how, how resilient we were. Um, and we brought some energy. But I still think... Uh, we can play faster, we can play better, uh, we can score more points and, and make more shots. We still, I don't think, we're anywhere close to how good we can be, so we still have a lot to work on. Brendan? Hey, Andrew, you, you mentioned the resilience of this team, especially in the second half and, and a couple of those threes, the 12-1 run, um, pulling that, pulling head late. Is resilience the identity of this team so far, or is there something else that stands out more to you? Um, as of right now, I guess, yeah, but I, I want our identity to be be toughness, be playing hard, playing smart, and playing together like Carolina basketball. Like, I want that to be our identity and to come out every day and, and show that from the jump, not just wait till we're down 11 or down 10 to, to show what we got, you know? I want us to hit shots in the first half and get the ball down low into our bigs and not turn the ball over. So I want the things Coach wants. Thank you. Uh, Andrew Jones. Andrew, going back on the grit factor, <clears throat> when you can combine grit and Kerwin's threes and, and the better ball movement there for that stretch in the second half, what is the level that you guys can be at on a more regular basis? Um, I think a team that can compete with the best of them, you know, uh, a team that can make a run in the NCAA tournament. Uh, but we're not looking at that right now. We're just trying to get better every day. And I think this was really good for our young players' confidence. Uh, Kerwin hit some big shots. Kayla played really well, took care of the ball uh, today, uh, and that was huge. And that was a huge point in what we were trying to work at this week, and I think he did that, and I'm really proud of him. You think today was significant progress for you guys? What's that, sorry? You think today was significant progress for you guys? Yes, back I, I do, but I still think we can play better. Uh, I think we – Coach asked us if he, he thought uh, we would get an A for today for our grade, and no one, no one agreed – or no one said we got an A. Like, I think we're – Maybe B minus range. Like I don't. I don't know. I don't. I think I know we can play better than that. That's that's all I care about. Thank you. C.L. Brown. Andrew uh, Kerwin kind of struggled in the first half uh, with like seemed like some freshman mistakes, a lane violation, gave up an A one. It looked like Roy got into him for that last shot, uh, maybe not contesting it the right way. What What do you say as as a senior who's been through that, who's seen it? you know, seeing those kind of things happen. What do you say to him at halftime, or whatever, for, for a little pick me up? Cause obviously he had some big shots in that second half. <laughs> well, I can, I can relate to, to Kerwin cause coach has been on me for four years doing, doing that stuff. So um, I just keep telling him next play, you know, next shot, you're going to make mistakes. Like it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Every time you step out on the court, you're not going to make every shot you take, but you're going to think you are. So that's what I tell him. Just keep shooting the ball. And, and if you mess up, okay, internalize it, learn from it, move on. And were you guys, was it uh, part of the game plan to for the guards as well as the bigs to keep attacking the paint to, to get those big men in foul trouble for Kentucky? Or did, or did was that just a byproduct? That was open, drives were open, so that's why you guys kept kept going at them. Um, well, that's our game plan every day. We try and get the ball inside because we have some of the best bigs in the country, if not the best bigs in the country. So uh, that's our advantage night in and night out. So we're going to throw the ball to them, and they're going to they're gonna, – bang around in there and, and try and, and try and score. And that opens up Kerwin, that opens up me, that opens up RJ, our shooters, Caleb too, uh, for driving lanes and open shots. So it starts with the bigs. Thanks. All right, we got time for two more with Andrew. We're gonna go with Luke Buxton and then Josh Graham after that, please. And then we got Caleb Love coming up next. <laughs> Andrew, congrats, man. Um, what would you say is the biggest individual, the thing you wanna work on for next game and then for the team uh, in terms of improvements? Uh, I think my offensive rebounding can get better. Um, I, I felt myself kind of running back because I was worried about them getting out in transition, but I know I got to be in there, especially when me and Kerwin are in at the same time. I play the three and, and he plays the two, so I got to get in there more. Um, I thought individually I played pretty well on defense. I thought there was a couple ticky-tack fouls that I got that you know I don't necessarily agree with, but like they're called anyway, and coach was pretty pissed about those. So I got to clean up that defensively and uh, get, be get better for state. Cool. Thanks. All right, Josh Graham, last one for uh, Andrew, please. Andrew, going down the stretch, just how familiar were you guys with Kentucky's foul situation? How often was Roy emphasizing to maybe attack there down the stretch? 
Uh, the whole time, you know, uh, we were looking up at the clock. I think I said something to Caleb when there was like 15 minutes left. They already had six fouls. So I said, next time we get fouled, we're one and one. And that was with 15 minutes to go in the game. So we knew from the early in the second half that that was our advantage. And if we kept attacking, we know we could get their bigs in trouble and just get free points at the line. I have a question for Andrew since you didn't ask. Andrew, they cut it to two and you hit a huge three in front of the bench to give us a five point lead. That was sort of one of the biggest plays of the game. Would yes, you sir. comment on that play, please? Um, I got the ball into Dayron. Uh, he got doubled, kicked out, late closeout, and I don't know, just that's that. I don't know. I was, I was open. I was confident I made it. Um, but it wouldn't happen if, if Dayron didn't have his head up and he made the heads-up play. So 